This video explains how to split a date and time column in a data frame into separate variables using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to five of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains three rows and two columns, whereby the first column contains numeric values and the second column contains a date and time variable. Now let's assume that we want to split this variable into two separate variables, where one of the variables contains the dates and the other variable contains the times. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines seven to nine. So in line seven of the code, I'm first creating a date variable. And for this, I'm using the sDate function and I'm applying this function to our column where the dates and times are contained. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new variable, which is called date. So if you run line seven of the code, our data set is updated, as you can see by clicking on the data frame. And after clicking on the data frame, you can see that at this point, our data set contains three columns. The first two columns that were already contained in the data set from the beginning of the tutorial. And in addition to that, a date column, which contains only the dates that correspond to our date time column. In addition to that, we can also add a time column to our data frame. And we can do that as you can see in lines eight and nine. So in these lines of code, I'm using the format function and the sPO6CT function. And I'm applying these function to our date time column. And then I'm also specifying the format of this new column and the format should be hours, minutes and seconds. So if you run lines eight and nine of the code, you can see that our data set is updated once again by clicking on the data frame once again. And then you can see that we have added another column which is containing the times of our input column where dates and times were contained simultaneously. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.